Yo, what's going on guys? And if you didn't know, we finally have a Princess Connect collab in Grand Blue Fantasy for all five of you who cared about this, myself included. I've been really looking forward to the Princess Connect character because I do think they have great designs. So I'm very happy they finally put them in Grand Blue. I don't know anything about Princess Connect. I played it for like a day and I was like, yeah, let's put these characters in Grand Blue because that's all I care about. Now, normally I don't do videos on incomplete characters. I would wait until they get their um their unlock skill behind part two. Side game, stop doing this. I hate it. Stop, stop, stop. But they're gonna keep doing it, so I'm gonna have to keep doing my uh, schedule. So uh, today's video, this is a little gameplay with her. I wanted to play with her because I just got her to level 80, and I was like, you know what? Let's record it. So we're gonna be taking on Gilgamesh. Um, sadly, I have to run Berserker because this team doesn't have a way of capping the fence down. Currently, we don't know anything about Kokoro's skill three. At least I don't know anything about it. Maybe like the trial one, you can learn something, but. I I ain't testing all that, but I don't know nothing about it at the moment. So I'm waiting till week uh, two comes up so that we can unlock their skills. But let's get to the fight now. Now it's been a all. Oh, uh oh, hold up. I'm playing Epic Seven on the side. <laughs> you guys probably don't see it, but here I'm playing this on the side, and my team died. Feels bad, man. Um, auto ink. I'm trying to level up my units in this game. But less of that, more of this. So. Kokoro, she's cute. She happens to have the same passive as Europa and Alex, which is supposed to be Grimnir passive. People were speculating and Siva, but you know, we don't care about males. We care about cute waifus, let's be real. So I'm happy she got the passive, you know, it makes her a little bit more viable. I don't know the values on any of her on it. I don't know if it's as strong as those units, but we do know that she have it. She also had the ability to boost our multi-attack. She has a lot of gimmicks. Um, one thing I don't like is that she does end up having uh, she does end up having to deal with the no Ogi damage, Korwa status. You know, I didn't really want that again in win because we do already have Korwa, and you know how well she's done. But oh well, oh well. So you can see that they hit pretty hard. We do get the damage boost from her skill too, which is pretty cool. Increases our overall damage cap. And also with her skill one giving charge bar, it also allows us to gain the ability to Ogi or chain Ogi turn one. So I like it, I like it. She is so cute. I'm not a lolly glover. I, I'm, I'm letting you guys know that now, but she is cute, bro. I am so happy they put these characters in the game. Now, if only if they stay super viable, I would gladly run her in all my teams. I don't know what the, what am I doing right now? What am I doing? My d are running gal. I'm here, oh, I remember. I wanted to look at her Ogi, because I haven't looked at it yet. There you go. I knew I was forgetting something. Now, people told me that in um, Princess Connect, her Ogi doesn't do damage, so I guess she's really true to her character, but this isn't bad. She does give us a buff on Ogying, so it's not like the worst thing in the world. I kind of wish to give like a Veil or Leer or something. That would make a perfect fit in this team, so I wouldn't have to worry about getting debuffed like right now. But, nope. That's too much to ask for. Too much to ask for. Let's go. Uh, yeah, we don't gotta hit no skill one or see thing. Charge speed up would help too a lot. So that I can um, sometime get some Ogies off faster. That defense buff is kind of brolic. I haven't done solo Gigamess in quite a long time. The last time I've done this, I don't remember to be honest. Though it's not really that hard. If my memory serves me right. Just gotta worry about the 75 and 25 and it should be easy to run. We're going to eat, um, this Athena it. I think Athena will be fine. 
I think it has its trigger at 10% or it gets full of charge damage and hits really hard. We'll use Typhon there though. Yeah, we do. It even has like the Princess Connect background thing, I think. Um, in Princess Connect, whenever they do their specials, they would remove all enemies on screen and, and allies. So that's pretty similar. Yeah, yeah, don't hear me playing another game at the moment. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, so I guess we could use all uh, skill three here. We're going to save Neo skill two in case you know it falls off. It does give more buffs besides the um, sharpening and uh, I remember I don't remember the name of the other one, but it doesn't matter to me that much. Yeah, what they had a clear or something or a debuff on her uh, debuff reduction or her skill or her ogi. I don't think it's missing. But I mean, it's already like this boss is really easy, so it's not that bad. So we get that charge. Hit a little harder. Hit like big men. Okay, maybe hit like little girls. <laughs> Feels bad. Okay, we should be going up to the first trigger next turn. I like how she does have the multi attack passive, but I feel like she'd be single attacking a lot. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like she single attacks too much. So that's one thing I've noticed. I think we have to use the skill one right now. Since we're on turn 10, our mists to be up uh, mist and breach. What's corn side pretty well with this? Because he does clear his debuffs and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't do much damage. What really hurts though is this right here. It's the um, debuff to get. Normally I would use Apollo, but it was too late. Apollo wasn't up fast enough. Though we should be fine, I think. Let's use tuning to lower a little bit of the damage. We may as well add Neo at the base skill too, I guess. Because right now, um, Kokoro has had a hard time doing enough damage. So she needs that extra damage from skill two to really cap. Even though she's Ogiing right now, so she's doing no damage at all. But you know, I'm, I'm pro player. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we all make mistakes, you know. Yeah, I ain't perfect. She definitely needs some EMPs in her skill, uh, in her in her stuff, so that she can really start maxing out her damage. Right now, her damage is kind of boo boo. Too bad she didn't get damage for being cute. Uh, if that works, then she'd be doing ton of damage, but she don't. It'd be a nice time to have Shiva, <laughs> but I don't have Shiva. <laughs> oh my god! Still looking for Shiva since 2016 or 2017, bro. 2019 is gonna be the year, Shiva. I'm telling you, I'm getting it. <laughs> the fact that I still don't have it is so depressing, man. You would think I'll have it, but you know, my constant whining for a year or two years now, right? Still don't got it. I think Neil Buff's about to run out, right? No, we got one turn on it. Oh, yeah, we good. We good. And by good, I mean we have to use her uh, team matcha. She don't die. Yeah, they can use this, I guess. I'm so used to not even using stacks on CFA because in racing you don't really need them. CFA hits hard enough without his stacks. It's only in solo play where it's like a little bit more needed. Um, I don't know if I really want to. Eh, I'll think about using Kokoro skill one, but for some reason I like the min max really hard. So it feels bad. We would get the damage cap on her skill one, but we'll lose the uh, charge bar. So for that, we'll, we'll skip out on it. 
And yes, I'm not turning it off. This is really cute. <laughs> if anyone was wondering, like, why do you not? Why you didn't turn off the um, Ogi effect? It's cute, bro. Leave me alone. Let me watch my cute animation. I don't. I don't be in your room telling you what to do. Let me. Let me watch my stuff. Okay, skill one. Skill two. Yes, they skill two. We're not touching the old buff because I know if I use the old buff now, I'm screw myself over. So you're gonna single attack every turn, and I'm be annoyed. Happens every time. You would think it wouldn't, but it does. Also, people are probably wondering why I'm not healing Kokoro, even though I'm running stamina. Actually, with three guns and three um three hearts, it's better to still be low health to maximize damage. I know it sounds weird, but it still works out that way. So that's why I'm not healing her. I should, cause he may die from this, but I believe in her. Oh, I, I, woo, I am so happy they did not hit her cause she would have been in trouble. <laughs> I'm actually very happy that did not just hit her. <laughs> We're gonna use um, Coma now. We haven't really touched it yet. My Neo actually has a really high debuff chance rate because of her rank. So we should be fine to just, you know, abuse that for a little bit. Hopefully. I'll save Apollo for later. I may end up having to use a healing pot. Or maybe, it depends. If Kokoro gets enough heals, Within the time he's asleep, we, we probably don't need a heal. Now that's a big probably, and probably not happening. But you know, I could believe. I believe. I'm a believer. The power of cuteness allows you to transcend your limits. <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> I love this character, bro. Help! I just wish he was a little bit, you know more damaging i know she's a healer and all she gonna replace lena for me I, I mean unless i need clear i'm just gonna i i'm i'm done with lena she's way cuter than lena so lena get in the boot that's my opinion though you may not agree with that but lena she's got she got the boot unless i need a lot of healing and okay maybe not then and man, we're gonna live this, I believe. I was thinking about using a blue pot, but I feel like I use Teamot. We should be fine. I hope. <laughs> Normally people would bring um that's gonna spell me, I believe. Normally people would bring like bunkles and stuff, but I don't got them. So, you know, we gotta improvise. <laughs> we gotta improvise really well. And he has attack buff. I don't like that. I don't like that at all, to be honest. I should bring my Thor to this fight. Now nah, think about it. I don't really need Bahamut. I have uh, actually I um I uh full limit break my Thor, so it has a lot of stuff on it. It has spells too. So in this situation, it would be pretty good to bring here. Hmm. We get some chain burst here, you know, a little chain burst. I don't want to get hit with the um, debuff at 25. My goal right now is to hit the boss into 25 in the next two turns. We should be fine. Um, we gotta keep in mind that Kokoro does not do damage on Ogi, so our burst damage is gonna be a little bit lower with Siete skill three. Another thing is that with Siete skill four, we also missing out again with Kokoro. So you gotta keep these in mind when you're using Siete and Kokoro together, is that you're losing a lot of damage. You know, she must be hella cute for you to break. <laughs> her cuteness factor must be a big thing for you to bring her. Cause she will be dropping your overall damage output by a lot. I know it hurts me too. For everybody who's like, damn, but she's so cute. I know, I know. I'm with you, bro. I'm with you all the way. But you know, I got I got to tell it like it is. 
I feel like this has been the longest guild match I've ever done in my life. I may have, like, not been fighting it. Like, I'm not trying to speed run it, but, you know. I'm trying to give it a little love tap here and there. Please don't hit 25. Please don't hit 25, because I'm going to die. Okay, thank you. Because <laughs> I really would have died right there. <laughs> I am not looking for that to happen. Okay. We should be okay. I think. Hit CFA skill, you know. Hit this. Get a little damage cap here and there. Do a little bit of healing on my main character. Because, you know, main character looking type questionable. We don't have defense down cap. So that's going to be a thing. But I believe. I, I believe in my team. Nah, I don't believe in them, I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't believe. 1%? I've been screwed over in this game too long. <laughs> I don't believe in them, man. I really don't. I'll be honest. I thought about it, right? I I really considered my options, and I'm just like, it's not going to go well. I know it's not. So, you know, just with that extra assurance to make sure we hit the 25. <laughs> Listen guys, I'm telling you, I've been playing this game for a while. Always go with a certain aspect. Don't risk it for the biscuit. It's not worth. The biscuit is not worth it here. So we do have no debuffs, but we should be fine. We're just going to hit uno, dos, and, you know, hit a little of this. Just in case, you never know. Now, Neo should hit Coma. She should only hit Coma one time. I think around three times where Neo starts missing. So we should hit Coma now. My Neo is broken, so we're going to return her to the factory because I don't have a working character. Oh, look at Kogoro. Cap those autos. Oof, she's so strong. Uh, we have to get the skill. So we do have Typhon still for the last, you know, little, last little bit of it. We should be alright though. Oh, we dodging. I got the moves, you know. Ah, cucked. So if you guys may not know this, right? Typhon would fill up my charge bar, so I have to Ogi normally, and then I have to use Typhon. Which is, I think it's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Damn, why you hit so hard? <laughs> what have I done to you? <laughs> Holy crap. Jesus Christ! He's out with a pass and get a kill. What is the attack down that cap? No wonder. Yeah, man, that man, about to hit somebody hard. Hopefully he is siete. I, I, yeah, hit siete. We should be fine. All right. Little heal. Ooh, jump. Woo! I like how she does a little dash back. I, like. Like she does, she jumps forward really fast, but she dashes back. I don't, I don't, oh man, She's trying to wave dash. <laughs> uh, for, speaking of wave dash for the people, hit CSA. <laughs> Runs over, guys. Runs over. Runs over. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. Fuck this game, bro. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm still gonna upload this, but I'm triggered. They just killed, they killed Kokoro. That was our whole pride of playing a game. Um, hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing this. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. I think I was talking about Ultimate. If anybody here is playing Ultimate, leave me in the comments how you feel about the game. I, I know I mentioned Wave Dashing, so that's why. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.